Today on Passport Kings, I'm doing a 2019 countdown of the top 10 Caribbean islands with the most beautiful women. But I'm going to take a lot of valuable ingredients into consideration while I'm formulating this list. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. If this is your first time on this channel, I'm a travel advisor and travel business owner. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. It's getting cold in the USA right now, and I'm ready to split back to the islands. The last time I made a countdown about the Caribbean islands with the most beautiful women, a lot of people in my comments hold wholeheartedly agree with my assessment. But like I said in that video, it was a beauty contest only. I didn't take any other factors into consideration. This time I will. Most women from the Caribbean look like they walked right out of the sun. They are usually melanated or tanned to perfection. They are smart and regularly have hourglass shapes that the most expensive plastic surgery couldn't realistically reproduce. But what's the use of running to one of these islands to meet a beautiful chick if you wind up getting stomped out as soon as you get off the plane? We are going to be looking at island safety and all around friendliness to make sure you have a peaceful experience with meeting one of these women from the top 10 Caribbean islands with the most beautiful women in 2019. One disclaimer though, if I pronounce anything wrong in this video, I'm all ears if you want to send me the correct pronunciation as long as you're doing it with good intentions. But if you're trying to mock me or act like I'm dumb just because I mispronounced one of the countries wrong, let's not forget that there's no such place as America. We can all be bullies if we wanted to, but the fact is we would be better off just getting to know each other because we can learn a lot from each other. Number 10. Aruba. Aruba is one of the ABC islands along with Curacao and Bonaire. It's pretty much a tourist heaven. I was in Aruba back in 2015 and the local clubs and the action is right in the midst of the tourist areas. You will meet plenty of beautiful local women that work in the stores and hang out at the clubs. And that's great because you really won't need to go off the beaten path. They look tropically exotic and they don't have to try that hard to be beautiful. They just can't help it. Stay in Aranjastad, which is where I stayed. The stats show that there's a very low possibility of being a victim of a crime. I felt beyond safe the entire time. Everything is super relaxed. Some say the influx of refugees from Venezuela could impact the safety that this island has enjoyed for forever. But actually, it's still a very friendly place and you may even meet a beautiful down-to-earth Venezuelan chick that can magnify your experience twofold. I suggest staying in the Renaissance Hotel. That way, you can utilize the easy and free boat taxi to get access to Iguana Beach and Flamingo Island. Number nine, the Cayman Islands. It doesn't take Cayman run punch to realize why airlines and resorts are investing heavily into this British territory. The weather and scenery is dope, but it's the beautiful women here who make you wanna come again and again back to the island. The women are such beautiful flowers that I'm sure they have to fight off bees and butterflies trying to land on them. The hot Caribbean sun is always kissing these women right on the lips in the spot that you wanna kiss. Not only that, but these women are brilliant. Carnival each May is the biggest event of the year where the women show off their creativity of costume creation and ability to twerk something. Crime is way down on the rock as they call Grand Cayman and watching their parade down the street will have you on the rock too. Number eight, Dominican Republic. I've visited the DR on several occasions. One thing is certain, you will always find a beautiful chick whose looks will blow you away. I get a lot of hate when I mention DR in these countdowns from many people who usually never even visited the island. A lot of people will say they aren't black and they probably hate black men. And even many of them might agree. But like I said in my countdown about countries where black men can find love, black men get a bad rep in all countries' media. But when you meet the people in real life in DR, you will find that many of them see us just like they see themselves. But Americana. A lot of them are blacker in complexion than any African Americans that I've ever seen. If a woman in the DR starts to like you, they will treat you like you are a god. Catering to your every want while showing you they're excited to do it. If you don't feel like a deity, you might start to believe in one because she will be the answer to all of your prayers. The combination of beautiful, cooperative, and enthusiastic about your happiness can't be ignored no matter how you may be seen by their men 
or how close you may have to watch your belongings so they don't get stolen. Number seven, Saint Martin. The culture is a blend of African and European heritage. It can be described as two islands mixed into one, but it was voted the friendliest island of 2014. You've probably seen a lot of pictures of Maho Beach, <laughs> where the planes get really close overhead while landing. But you also need to hike to Peak's Paradise, drinking guava berry, and eating conch. You will find some very beautiful women around Yvette's in the French Quarter, in G Snacks, or Grand Casse, or Grand Case. Like you could get off my case about pronunciations. But that's if it's still open. That is where the local women hang out. And if your game and personality don't suck, you'll be sure to hit it off with one of the most beautiful women in the Caribbean. If you rent a car, you may stick out like a sore thumb or easy victim. So get a French license plate if you can. And don't go strolling down dark alleys after 6 p.m. Number six is Trinidad. While certainly still having the most beautiful women according to the countdown back in 2018, these women are really friendly when they know that you are well aware that you're a guest on that island and not the center of it. The way they look, if these women were words on a page, they would be the fine print. They take education seriously and they certainly take looking good seriously. The women who attend their carnival will make you forget about Brazil's carnival for a couple of months. Drugs and gangs are present in Trinidad, but they really ain't thinking about you as a tourist if you're not trying to come over and take over and be a new drug kingpin. Just enjoy your time there and let the women enjoy your visit. You will meet beauty and sexiness that will be hard to forget. Make sure you watch to the end of the video so you get my free ebook about how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and ring the bell. Number five is Haiti. Haiti has a rep of being dangerous. The people of this half of Hispaniola have been through a lot from earthquakes in Port-au-Prince to still paying the French back for a war for independence that they won. They were the second free black republic in the world, so naturally they are a very proud people. But what's not shown often enough in the media is how beautiful these women look. You won't realize that you're staring at them with a big dumb blank look on your face until she reminds you to breathe. The features of their jasper complexioned faces will stick in your mind and pop up in your dreams. To be honest, when a lot of other islands celebrate their carnival, or carnival, you sometimes have no idea of what they're so happy about. You just want to enjoy the festival. But when it comes to the Haitian Creole Carnival, you would know exactly what they're happy about and what Mardi Gras is all about. Freedom. Number four, St. Lucia. St. Lucia is full of volcanoes and upscale resorts. There's a little island named, <laughs> yeah, I know we messed this up. There's a little island named Choi Soul where women are extremely beautiful and they have a beautiful temperament towards visitors to match. The women's skin look like lattes from Starbucks. God, or whatever you believe in, was obviously showing off when he made the women of St. Lucia. St. Lucia is home to 180,000 people. This beautiful tropical island is not overcrowded at all, and they're not hurting for anything. St. Lucians are relatively well off, and crime rates are very low. Number three, Jamaica. There are three types of women in Jamaica. The whack ones, the sexy ones, and the even sexier ones. If you stay in Jamaica for any period of time, you will absolutely run across one who will make you wish that you were cross-eyed so you could always see her twice. They will make you curious about what they do for a living aside from being sexy. The few times I visited Jamaica, I fell in love with the people, the food, and the scenery. Jamaica is dope. Crime is hardly ever a problem when you are at the resorts or touring the city. Just don't be walking around looking like an easy target. Take the same safety precautions you would if you were in the States and beware of your surroundings. Nine times out of 10, you won't have any problems as long as you're not an asshole. The two resorts that I've recommended were Grand Palladium, where you can see that video in this clip, or you can see my entire video about the first time I went to Jamaica and I stayed at Ibero Star Rose Hall. Jamaica has left a really positive impression on me, and the women there will leave a positive impression on you. Number two, St. Kitts and Nevis. You may need open heart surgery when you visit this island because your heart will be stolen upon arrival. The women are first rate, attractive is an understatement. While looking into their eyes, you can see beauty. Looking into their soul, you will see passion. Looking into their mind, you will see intelligence. And looking at their hips, you will realize you have an erection. The crime rate is almost non-existent. See if you can visit during the St. Kitts and Nevis National Parade, which happens right around the end of the year leading up to Christmas and New Year's. The streets will host a series of parades and sexy performances. And number one, Guadeloupe. 
When I mentioned this island in my last countdown, many, many people act like I pulled this pronunciation right out of thin air. They said, ha 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 ha, you don't even know how to pronounce the island, so why are you talking about it? Mind you, this complaint came mostly from people who were not even from the island and probably never visited. The friendly people of Guadalupe reached out to me and asked me why I pronounced their island that way, but they did it in a very friendly demeanor. Guadalupe women will talk to you with a straight face that will be so warm and comforting that you could actually melt. When I explained to them that that is what I was taught when I was in elementary school while doing projects and learning about the Caribbean islands, they understood wholeheartedly as they were also aware of how a lot of times it's mispronounced. They even echoed my sentiment that the people that were so uptight about it probably weren't even from there. This list has been about beauty, which they easily win, and they are in islands that see almost no crime. But to top it off, they cook better seafood than anything that you can recreate by using recipes online. Meeting women from Guadalupe will make you want to pack up and move there and never come home again. And that was my countdown. Did you like my list? Do you agree with it? Leave your comments below. I always read those. Do you want a free book about how to make money online so you can travel more? Fill out the three question questionnaire at www.passportkings.com and order a shirt while you're there. Now some people say looks aren't everything. I say it's a start. If you mainly travel because you love being an international trick, you can easily find what you're looking for in any of these islands, some more than the other. But if you have a chance to find a special lady from one of these 10 Caribbean islands with the most beautiful women in 2019, it will be well worth it. Just don't be one of those 40 day fiance fools. Work on your self esteem and self worth. Work out and master the industry that you're in because that's gonna do nothing but boost your confidence. So when you shoot your shot, they won't be just looking at you like you're just another thirsty American pushover. They'll treat you like a king. A passport king. Peace.